Sean. And we are Vindulge, and today we are coming to you from our barn, the barn that we are remodeling. We do not have our kitchen yet, so we are cooking on the deck. Literally. And today we are going to do a grilled filet mignon with a mushroom brown butter and herb sauce. It's going to be amazing. And make sure to stay to the end, because we're going to have a delicious wine to pair with it. You mm -hmm. ready to go? I'm ready. Let's get started. Let's get started. So we're gonna get started today by coating our steaks with a little bit of olive oil and then rubbing it in on all sides. Then we're going to season them with our dry rub. For steaks, we like to keep it simple with a little salt, pepper, and garlic powder, all equal parts. And then we're gonna rub it in on all sides of that steak. Make sure you coat all those sides of the meat nice and liberally. Now we're gonna put them onto a hot grill over direct heat and let them cook just a couple minutes to get those grill marks and to seal in that flavor. If you want those fun crosshatch marks, now's the time to do it. So just rotate them a quarter of a turn for each filet, right about halfway through cooking that first side. Now we're gonna flip them and we're gonna cook them on the other side again, just for a couple minutes. Once you like that crust, now it's time to move those steaks over to the indirect side of your grill. And you're gonna let them continue rising in temperature until you get to that desired finishing temperature. We like our steaks rare to medium rare. So we're gonna pull ours today between 125 and 130 degrees Fahrenheit for a rare to medium rare finish. While the meat is resting, it's time to make your brown butter sauce. You're gonna start by slicing those mushrooms we're using cremini mushrooms today. You're gonna to put them in a light colored skillet over medium heat with a little melted butter or oil. Let them cook down until they are nice and browned. This should only take a couple minutes. Now it's time to add some shallots and garlic and stir those together and let them continue cooking just about a minute or so to let those flavors combine. Now you're gonna to wanna to remove those mushrooms, garlic, and shallots to make room for that brown butter sauce. Using that same pan, add the butter and let it cook down at a medium heat for around five minutes until you see that color get browned and the smell is nice and nutty. Once your butter is nice and browned, add a little sage and some salt and let that fry up and then add back those reserved mushrooms, mix them together, and then remove those from heat and get ready to serve them over your fillets. Meanwhile, your steaks have rested quite nicely. Now it's time to top each of those steaks with some of that incredible and fragrant mushroom brown butter sauce. Now it's time to dig in and pop open a bottle of wine. So Yum. Good. <laughs> mm. Super tender. That is so good. It's super tender. That mushroom sauce is just incredible. It's a great flavor mm. for that. Mm. So now, that's my favorite part. <laughs> We're gonna have some wine. Nice. So to pair with this, I am going with a big kind of bold red. That's what I recommend to go with the steak, something big. You can do Cabernet Sauvignon, you can do Merlot. Um, we're going with the Cabernet Franc from Washington State. Um, this is from Walla Walla Vintners. This one's fantastic. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a sip. Mm. Mm. Super tender, super delicious. Fantastic with this Cabernet Franc. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more awesome barbecue recipes and wine pairings. Cheers. Cheers. I don't want more of that speck. Mm -hmm.